to start to start off with, we're going to have a quick look at Wonderware System Platform 2017 Update 2. Ignore the U1 on my um, desktop here, that's not actually correct. We're going to model a plant, uh, an enterprise with a plant and a plant area, and the plant area is going to be line one, and we're going to perform um, an imaginary process. So imagine we're, we're cooking a product, uh, we're going to mix some ingredients, cook a product, and then cool it down, and then unit pack it. And then once the units are packed, we're going to case pack those. So we're going to do that um, in a theoretical sense. We're not actually going to have a PLC. This is all just going to be triggered uh, from the um, the platform management tools and, um, and debuggers and things. But the important thing with this is going to be that we're going to create uh, three different kinds of um, process and equipment uh, setups. And then we're going to hook them up to um, operational capabilities, utilization capabilities, and um, sample recording in MES. And then we're going to trigger some jobs and some work orders on this, this plant. Uh, we're going to set up some, um, some storage, some work in progress stores, some raw ingredients and finished goods stores and things like that. And we're going to move some inventory around and things like that. So we're going to hook up our system platform imaginary plant to MES and then we're going to trigger a bunch of the built-in MES pro um, perform, um, performance, quality and operational capabilities. So let's have a quick look to begin with, with the plant and process we're going to have a look at. We're going to have an enterprise called Acme. We're going to have a plant called Plant, a line called Line 1. Line 1 is going to have plant areas for mixing, processing, unit packing and case packing. When we're mixing ingredients, we're going to perform the operation of mixing with the equipment mixer, and a mixer has got a motor, an inlet valve, and an outlet valve in our imaginary world. Then we're going to perform a process, and the process for us is going to be to cook and then to chill our product. So we've got an operation cook and an operation chill. So this is a little different from the above mixing or mix operation in that now we have a process called process, which is a little confusing, but you get that a lot in this, this um scenario unfortunately. So we have a, a process called process and then we have an operation to cook and an operation to chill. So this is different from having a single operation. Once we do the chilling or we heat with the heating element, chill with the chilling element, we're going to move on to a process called unit packing. So unit packing is going to be a little different from the process process in that instead of having multiple operations we have one unit pack operation but we have a bunch of, tab these across for you so that's a bit clearer. We're going to have a bunch of flow wrappers. If we imagine a scenario where our plant is cooking and then chilling a bulk amount of, of a product, the, the flow wrappers, the individual bags that the product comes in, um, may take longer to, to seal and they take a small quantity. The, the, the plant might be producing much faster than we can individually unit pack with one packing machine. So in this case, we've got one unit packing operation and three flow wrappers, each with a motor and a sealing element. Uh, so you can imagine the product flows into like a little bag and then it seals it off and then moves on a little bit, a little bit further and so on and, and produces like a, a chain of these little bags ready to cut up at the end of the process. Once that operation of unit packing is completed on the line one equipment flow wrapper one flow wrapper two and flow wrapper three without the typos we are going to move on to a process called case packing where we take each one of the units that we packed in the unit packing operation and we pack a multiple of those into a case and we're going to do that with a piece of equipment called a case packer and the case packer has a motor and a glue applicator to seal the box. This is a very rudimentary piece of equipment. We're largely making this up as we go. So it's not going to be representative of a real plant, but it's going to be close enough that it makes some sense, I hope. So let's get started. We're going to want a new galaxy. I think we're going to develop it based on an empty basic galaxy. And I think we should call it MES. 101. Okay, let's create that. So we'll take a few seconds. It's a little slower than ideal. What I might do is pause the video when something slow like this is going on and then return again in a few seconds. <laughs> 